Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Mel B. Melanie Janine Brown, better known as Mel B. or Melanie B., is an English singer, songwriter, presenter, television personality, dancer, actress, author, and model. Brown rose to fame as a member of the girl group The Spice Girls, in which she became known as Scary Spice. Brown is also known for supporting girl power in earlier global tours, which grossed an estimated $500,800 million between 1996 and 2000. Brown began her solo career when she released I Want You Back with Missy Elliott on Virgin Records. The single charted at number one on the UK Singles Chart, followed by the release of her debut album, Hot. The album also saw the release of two top ten singles, Tell Me and Feels So Good. L.A. State of Mind was Brown's second studio album. Released in 2005 on the independent label Amber Cafe, which saw the release of one single. Today, in June that year, in mid-2012, Brown announced a return to her solo recording career with the release of her third studio album by signing with Emmy Music Australia. The scope of the deal with Emmy Office includes concessions for global partnering with Emmy. The first single from the album, The Once in My Life, was released in September 2013, becoming Brown's first record to be released after eight years. Since 2000, Brown has concentrated on a variety of non-singing projects, she became the presenter of shows such as This Is My Moment, Top of the Pops, Party in the Park, and the All-Star Animal Awards. In September 2007, she became a contestant on the fifth season of the American dance competition, Dancing with the Stars, in which she placed runner-up overall partnered with Maxim Schmakovsky. Brown returned to television work becoming a judge for the Australian version of The X Factor from 2011 to 2012, replacing Kyle Sanderlands, and having previously been a celebrity mentor on the show in 2010. In June 2012, she was a guest judge during the Manchester auditions for the ninth series of The X Factor UK as one of the temporary replacements for Kelly Rowland, before the role eventually went to Nicole Scherzinger. She later joined The X Factor UK for its 11th series in 2014. During this time she became the female co-host for Dancing with the Stars Australia, in which she hosted the 12th season alongside Daniel McPherson. However, Brown resigned from the show and did not return for the 13th season in 2013. In February that year, she officially signed on to become one of the four judges for the variety talent show America's Got Talent, replacing Sharon Osbourne from the 8th season onwards. On 1 February 2014, she was revealed to be a coach on The Voice Kids in Australia, which aired in mid-2014. Early Life Melanie Janine Brown was born in Hare Hills, Leeds, and grew up in the Burley area of the city. The daughter of Andrea and Martin Brown. Her father is from the Caribbean island nation of St. Kitts and Nevis, while her mother is English. Brown studied performing arts at Intake High School, in Leeds, before entering the entertainment industry. For a time, she worked as a dancer in the holiday resort Blackpool, Lancashire. After seeing an advertisement for an audition in a newspaper, Brown started her music career in a band known as Touch. The group left the original management team and eventually teamed up with music manager Simon Fuller. 1994-1998 Spice Girls in 1994, Brown, along with Mel C., Jerry Hallowell, and Victoria Beckham responded to an advertisement in the stage magazine. Around 400 women who answered the advertisement 
attended auditions at Danceworks Studios in Mayfair, London. Hallowell, Chisholm, Beckham, and Brown were originally chosen as the members of the group and then formed a quintet. With Emma Bunton, the group felt insecure about the lack of a contract and were frustrated by the direction in which Hart management was going and broke with them. In 1995, they toured record labels in London and Los Angeles and finally signed a deal with Virgin Records. Their debut album, Spice was a huge worldwide commercial success and peaked at number one in more than 17 countries across the world, and was certified multi-platinum in 27 countries. Conceptually, the album centered on the idea of girl power, and during that time was compared to Beatlemania. In total, the album sold 30 million copies worldwide, and became the biggest selling album in music history by a girl group, and one of the most successful albums of all time. The first single, Wannabe, reached number one in 37 countries and all the following singles, Say You'll Be There, To Become One, Who Do You Think You Are and Mama, also peaked at number one in United Kingdom. In 1997, they released their second album, Spice World, and their first two singles, Spice Up Your Life and Too Much, entered the UK albums chart at number one, making it the group's seventh consecutive number one hit single, an all-time record. For a musical group, the album was a global bestseller, selling 20 million copies worldwide. The group also starred in their own film, Spice World, the movie, which grossed $100 million at the box office worldwide and became the second most-watched movie of the year. The next single, Stop, peaked at two, breaking the sequence of number ones, the only single to not reach the top of the charts. Viva Forever, another number one, was the last single before Jerry Hallowell's departure from the group in May 1998. Never Give Up on the Good Times was planned as fifth single, but was cancelled after this event. With four members, the group released Goodbye before Christmas in 1998 and when it topped the UK singles chart it became their third consecutive Christmas number one, equaling the record previously set by the Beatles. Before the split of the Spice Girls, Braun went on to release music with Virgin Records, the label who she was signed to. When a member of the Spice Girls, I Want You Back, was released as the first official single, from the album, which charted at number one on the UK singles chart, and also had success around the globe. The song was recorded for the soundtrack of the film Why Do Fools Fall In Love. The single itself sold 218,000 copies, and became the 82nd best-selling British single of the year. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.